everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Dori, I'm a teacher of English and in today's video I'm going to give you some useful expressions and vocabulary you can use in your academic writing task 1 in order to describe what you can see in your charts, in your diagram, etc. So, let's begin! So, if you see that a value steadily decreases, as in this case, where the value is falling gradually, then you can use the phrase downward tendency. If you have a value that gradually increases over a period of time, as this one, you can use the phrase upward tendency. Now, if the diagram of a, of a certain value looks like that, then we can talk about a stable or a steady performance. On the contrary, if a value in the diagram looks like that, it is kind of unpredictable, we cannot predict uh, its evolution, then we talk about an unstable or an unsteady performance. Okay, so let's see an example for both. For the years 2012 to 2014, it is noted a stable performance for the x value, whereas for the z value, the performance seems unsteady during the same years. Just an example, again, nothing to, to memorize or to use exactly like that. Now, in this case over here, we have two values to compare. So this one here falls down and this one increases, okay? But it is kind of sudden. You can see that in both cases. So in this case, uh, we can talk about an abrupt or a sudden fall, in this case, the blue case, or uh, an abrupt sudden increase or rise in this case in the green case so you can use these adjectives over here to describe something like that distinct abrupt sudden significant major and in the blue case you can use fall or drop or in the green case here you can use the noun increase or rise so we can have distinct fall Distinct drop, abrupt fall, abrupt dropped, sudden fall, sudden drop, significant fall or drop, major fall drop, and accordingly, distinct increase or rise, abrupt increase or rise, sudden increase or rise, etc., etc., etc. You can use them any way you like accordingly, and your vocabulary has more variety in this way when you describe, okay? So, let's see an example. In 2013, the x value shows a sudden drop, while the z value shows a significant rise, okay? Of course, since you are mainly going to describe what you can see in the diagram or picture or chart or whatever, you need some uh, useful expressions and phrases to get you started. So, for example, you can use the chart or diagram shows uh, this is very useful to start your introduction, uh, your introductory paragraph by paraphrasing the topic. So, the chart or diagram shows, the chart or diagram illustrates, this, the chart or diagram represents. These three verbs are very, very useful and you can use them accordingly through your, uh, through your whole essay. Other phrases that are very, very useful and they are also used in the passive voice, which is a formal way of writing. Other, uh, other such phrases are it is clear that or it can be seen that. For example, you can say it is clear that the values uh, have dropped significantly in 2002, for example, or you can also say it can be seen that um, uh, a certain value steadily increases over a period of time. Okay, these are just examples, but you can use them accordingly throughout your whole essay, okay? You will also need some vocabulary in order to describe how the values change over time. So, let's go and check out some verbs along with their antonyms. Okay, here are some verbs. Uh, and their antonyms that will really, really, really help you.
for example, they all mean the same thing, but it is for you to have variety in your phrasing. To rise, to fall, to increase, to decrease, to grow, to shrink, to go up, to go down. And, of course, you can embellish these verbs steadily, gradually, significantly. For example, steadily increasing, gradually decreasing, significantly falling or rising, etc., etc., etc. You can do anything you want with these words. Other useful expressions are the majority or the minority of something. For example, you can say the majority of the values increased in 2014 or the minority of values decreased in 2011, etc., etc., etc. Okay, that's it for today. I hope it helps. Ask me your questions or comments here or on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. I've added all the links down below in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your exam.